Hi there, I'm Guitar Hero 1885, and in this video we're going to take a look at Underworld, the Eternal War for PS2. I got this game a few months ago, found it in Game Station or Game, whatever, at Game Station, real cheap. I just got it basically because of the box, it's a vampire game. Oh, you get to play as a vampire or as a werewolf. And depending on what side you pick, you you fight against the other, either a werewolf or vampires. So that's the box. I think it's it says on the back that it's a movie. So it's ba I don't know if it's based on the movie or not. I haven't I haven't seen it. I don't know if it follows the, the story or not. I guess the main premise is the same. Excuse the light. I guess the main premise has to be about the same. So I've had a few shots of it. It's a, a run and gun game. So I've chosen to play as the vampire S. And basically you go around and shoot tons of werewolves at big gangs of werewolves. Not too sure about much of the else of, of the first, other than the first game, eh, the first level, sorry. Because I haven't got past the first level, but I like the, I, I definitely like the idea of the story initially. I just got it basically because of the box, because it looked good. And you get, to, you know, the, the back of the box looked quite good. The the idea of it sounded like a good a good idea for a video game. So I just decided, it's so cheap. I just decided just to go for it. Even if it's it's by Play It, the company is Play It that made this game. And it's a movie tie-in, not made by Disney. So basically, I thought it. Would, for the price of it, I wouldn't normally buy that game at full price, this game at full price, or that sort of game at full price. But since I got it for 49 pence, I thought, yeah, I'll I'll have a I'll have a shot of that. It can't be, it can't be less than 49 pence worth, you know. So it's pretty good. There's tons of enemies to take take out, but they're they're all just kind of the same just hordes of enemies. You get a few different types of weapons that I've seen so far. You get the dual wield pistols, which is pretty good. You can unarm combat, jump about. You've got a vampire ability that is indicated by this bar here, the second bar. You've got your life bar here at the top. You, just cy you can cycle through your guns. You get submachine gun, You've got shotgun, flamethrower, M16, uh, dual wield, SMGs you can get. So yeah, it's, the graphics aren't bad. The detailing is a wee bit scant. And there's, you know, the graphics aren't the best that the PS2 can muster, but the PS2 can do a lot better than the graphics here. The backgrounds are quite plain, with very little interaction with the scenery. But the, the combat's fun. It's a simple idea. And it's executed fairly well. I mean, there's a lot, I've played a lot worse games than this on the... in my time. It's not bad at all. The other thing about this game that's pretty cool is that you've got a gang of... you go about as a gang. So you've got a gang of vampires on your team to go around and, and take on other the other the other team which is the werewolves. And I'm not really sure, I guess it's just to fight you. The the whole idea of the game is to fight your way through and defeat so the leader of the werewolves, I guess. I can't imagine it being any different from that, but it doesn't tell you anything on the back. On the, on the box anything to do with the story other than that you, vampires don't like werewolves in this so 
Game play is fun. The sound is quite good. It's got a nice, nice rocky sort of soundtrack. Keeps the action, gives the action atmosphere. They haven't gone over the top on detail or anything, but I don't think they've gone over the top on the the weaponry that you can get or the interaction with the levels, but the control system's fine. You can you can look with the the right analog stick and run. You know, run with the with the left analog stick, which is kind of good. So you can just you can stand and aim about as you like. I'm hoping that the game is, is good enough to play. I like it well enough that I will I will play through the whole game at some point. I'll definitely give it a shot anyway, unless it gets bad, but from what I see of it so far, it's definitely playable, and it's I'm glad I've got it, it's worth a look. So I'll give it three stars for what I've played of it so far, and the feel of the game, the execution, the idea, you know, the concept, the storyline. I mean, how cool is it? You can get to, you can play as a vampire. I mean, that's well cool. And you can also play as a werewolf if you want. And to make it better, you've got a gang of werewolves or vampires to go with you. And you just take on tons of enemies it's with a variety of weapons. So, yeah, I'm well chuffed with it. So, I'm going to try out the vampire power, see what we... Combos are a bit... I don't know if you can do it. Ah, the combos are a bit... The unarmed combat lacks a little as well, but... Hence it's not getting a higher rating. Three, three star anyway. Worth a look if you get the chance. Pretty cool to get to play as Vampire. Anyway, I hope you've liked the video. Peace out, have a good one. Thanks for watching.